Good morning. I just woke up. I feel like crap. <laughs> What's new? Today I have decided to dye my hair auburn and the reason why I'm telling you is just to let you know that pink hair fades really fast and it's really high maintenance. Blonde hair is also very high maintenance because you always have to take care of your roots. My hair grows really fast. It's like a hassle. I'm also sad because it took me a while to get this light. My transition to Auburn will hopefully give me a break. My hair is very, very damaged, but you know what? It's just hair. I will be going light Auburn. Okay, the lighting really washes it out, but it is going to be this color. Light Auburn is the way to go. I'll update you guys. Oh my gosh, do not mind this area. It is so messy. Bottom ends for days. I did get two bottles because I have a lot of hair. Well, not really, I just have long hair. These are the contents. A color optimizer. You have yourself conditioner for later. Step two, the ammonia. I totally just made that up. I lied, this is the color gel. <laughs> what the heck? Oh crap, I don't like the worst game, I swear. Or I just have really clumsy hands. Oh, oh. oh my god, oh my god. Ah, I just have really clumsy hands. Do you see the color already? Yeah, come on, let's do this. Shake, shake, shake. Out of the box, out of the box. Oh my god. I have my studio lights in my room because I'm gonna film later. It's a mess. Don't mind it. I'm just vlogging my hair. I look like this. Um, the tips are really still blonde, so make sure you saturate that. Thanks. Hello, is it me? Here goes the second bottle. after blow drying and natural lighting. As you can tell, it does look a little bit patchy due to the blonde I had previously because there were some darker parts and then some lighter parts, but I'm cool with it. In artificial lighting, my hair actually looks like a very like ashy faded rosy color, like a rosy pink almost, but you know, that could just be me exaggerating. I really like it, it's actually really different. I feel like if I was a little bit more glam, I'd look a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and film a main channel video. It's gonna be me trying a bird poop mask so yeah check it out if you want um, my skin's doing a lot better I have pimples now not so much the hormonal acne as you can tell my face is like completely flat well I lied I do have some down here on my chin but I mean for the most part okay I'm like the only person excited for this but I have normal pimples right now and I'm so excited because I don't get normal pimples I get like hormonal cystic acne you know what I mean if you have acne so I just wanted to update you guys a little bit um, I'll check in in a little bit more why am I acting like this is a review okay bye this is bird poop on my face literally I'm filming a video right now say hello to the studio lights okay as I said in artificial lighting my hair looks very very ashy it's so weird because all these colors are coming out and I'm just like okay which color do you want to be now come on I really really enjoy the versatility my hair is having right now obviously when you dye your hair you got to give it a few days for the true color to really come out so as of right now I'm sticking with a light brown kind of blondish auburn ginger ashy rose color hello tis i okay and now i'm under yellow lighting and my hair is this color <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here. The next time you'll see me, I'll be in San Francisco to meet and greet on Saturday and Sunday at the Mimi Box pop-up shop. Hopefully you stop by. I do have a workshop on Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. at the Mimi Box headquarters, but 
we actually sold out all the free tickets. Sounds weird, I know. But we actually had people RSVP for the event and it's completely sold out because we have limited space. Super excited, I'm gonna meet some Feibes. However, I still do have my meet and greets at 3 to 4 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. So if you can't make it on Saturday, you can come on Sunday, vice versa. We can hug, we can take selfies, and you can let me know who your K-pop bias is. I'll see you in San Fran. Bye!